and honestly like i'll be actually surprised if i get an okay grade for this piece of work so honestly it's probably one of the worst pieces of work i've done throughout my entire degree like i'm about to submit it hey guys and welcome back to the channel in today's video i will be opening up my results um for my master's degree i literally just come back from work i actually got the email at like 10 a.m this morning so I've had a lot of self-control and haven't opened it. As always, I don't know if I'm going to post this, but I'm going to FaceTime my sisters and kind of just open the results together. Um, I'm not quite sure how this is going to go. So guys, if you don't know, my master's degree is split into two main sections. So it's exams where I have eight modules. I got the results back in July. Was it July? August? I don't know, but the video's... I'll link it here if you want to watch that. And the next half of it is basically your dissertation or like for us, because we have, we're doing an engineering degree because I'm doing an engineering degree. You essentially just get like the normal like distinction, pass, merit, or I don't know if you get an actual percentage actually. I'm not quite sure. We'll open it up and see. So yeah, other than that, my course is um, an MSc in Advanced Chemical Engineering at Imperial College London if you're interested. And if you're interested in applying, or interested in the actual course I did, I did the A stream, which is just straight advanced chemical engineering, not biotech, not process systems, because I can't do all of that. Let's FaceTime the sisters. I'm filming, by the way. <laughs> not you meant to start to join your life. <laughs> I'm just waiting for more people to join. <laughs> so you've not opened it? No, I haven't, I haven't opened, it. opened it. Can I open it? Can I see? No! How are you gonna oh, see? Oh my You're stressing me out! How am I stressing you out? This is my grade. Oh, terrible! Do you know what they did, yeah? These people, they sent the email not just to my uni address, which it pops up straight away, they also sent it to my personal email. And you know how you get like a little preview of the first couple of lines? If my grade was in those first couple of lines, I would have I would have found out. I'm not even that scared, I just kind of want to know. Yeah. Has she not replied? Okay, I'm opening it, I'm clicking in it. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm so scared. Alright. What is going on? What does this mean? I've opened it. It's... <sighs> but I don't think this is the actual grain. Okay, I have to go to the Imperial site because that, that really scared the life out of me. That... <laughs> Do you have any attachments? So if I clicked that email, I wouldn't have known my grade anyway. So, do you say my student record? Select a program. How many programs am I on that I have to... That sounds a lot like my sins. Wait, 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 wait. I think I'm going to scroll down and see it. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Jesus is Lord. I got this. Fiction! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, that's so good! I'm oh, sorry. I could actually cry. You did it! No, you did darling, it. you don't understand. You actually don't understand. I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand. This can't be real. Let me double check. Can I just say for all the viewers watching? Touch straight A student. Her entire life. Oh my god. I'm just gonna take it over here for the vlog. Tyler is exceptional. <laughs> and with the help of Jesus Christ, she's never got a less than an A. So, first of all, credit to Jesus Christ. Big up, big man. Second of all, you lot don't understand how hard she had to work she, to, to obtain this. Like, <laughs> people think that some people are just smart. I tell and they you. just do it. It's no, it's not like that. Tara has worked uh, very, very hard for all the grades that she's gotten. So, just thought I'd add that in there. But congratulations, I'm very proud. Oh, thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Oh, do you know what? Do you know what's so funny? I actually, what? the day I submitted my dissertation, I made a voice note. I don't know if I'll put part of this voice in. I was like, really? this is not how I wanted my chemical engineering like journey to end. Like. I felt like my dissertation was probably the worst, one of the worst pieces of work I've ever submitted. So it's now like 2am, I've got work tomorrow, my first day of work tomorrow at 7.30am um, I think, I have to be there or I have to leave or something, I don't know. 
but I'm submitting my project now and I was literally just saying to my sister like this is actually probably one of the worst experiences I've had with project work in engineering. I haven't spoken to my supervisor since June and it's September the 13th. I've just had a really horrible experience and guys like if you haven't done something in your undergrad or your postgrad that you know well don't choose it for your project like I thought I understood sort of like Aspen and like modeling and I do but I had to do this with solids in Aspen plus which is slightly different and the solids that I was modeling with, modeling with aren't even conventional solids they're like it's hard to explain but essentially you do not want to be me at this point in time you do not want to be me and honestly like i'll be actually surprised if i get an okay grade for this piece of work so honestly it's probably one of the worst pieces of work i've done for my entire degree like i can say that hands down and this should not have been my experience do you know what i mean like my last academic piece of work submitting and i feel like it's worse than my my third year project's just so unfair but it is what it is and i've got to move on with my life to be honest because i've tried to fight for myself i've complained so many times i'm even going to email after i submit this and say will everything that i've been through be taken into consideration because we weren't taught how to do this project and we were given this project essentially so i'm about to submit it and I was like crying on this voice note. I was just like, I'm so disappointed. Like I literally thought I would get like 50% on my dissertation. Like I kid you not. The, you it was it? probably the weakest thing that I'd done this whole year. I got yeah. 74%. That's so good. And this is a topic that has never been done before. Yeah. <laughs> so I thought you did it so well then. You did it. You don't ever have to do an assignment again. Advanced process design 77%. Biochemical engineering 77%. These are the best grades of my life. Period. Thank you, Jesus. Practical process engineering in the oil and gas industry. Tell me how many lectures I went to. Three. Two. <laughs> 79%. I got a distinction from Imperial. <laughs> Do you understand what that means? Okay, call daddy first, call daddy. Oh, daddy's gonna give you a lecture. Hello, daddy. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just wanted to call you because I've just got my results for my degree, like the final results. The, the girl? Yeah. Wow, what happened? Yeah, I got a distinction. Wow. <laughs> that's good. I trust you. Wow, that's good. Thanks. Wait, wait a minute. When are you doing the graduations for Leeds? Next year. Uh, yeah. Oh, well, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, thank God. You did, well. you did so well. I'm so proud of you. That's good. That's the good news. So, uh, just just be wide open. Be open for offers everywhere, you know, as time goes on. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, mate. And that Imperial College, you didn't actually attend any lectures there? Physically, no. Wow. No, did you reduce it? Like, as no. In... <laughs> This is UK. That's killing, man. I know. That's killing. <laughs> wow, we thank God. We thank God. Did you tell your mom? I haven't told her yet. I called you first. Yeah, well, that's good. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good news. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Okay, bye. 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 Why did you say thank you? <laughs> so I know. <laughs> Amen. You I am well proud of you. You two are the children in Jesus' name. Amen. Who well, are in the group chat? No, I didn't put in the group chat. I wanted to call everyone. Okay. <laughs> I just haven't told Topa yet, so don't don't tell Topa yet. I'll tell. I'll call her and tell her. You still at work, so. Yeah. Well done, proud of you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Yeah. What's the next stop now? Nothing. There's no next walk, stop. Walk, walk, walk. More money. <laughs> money is the next stop. Okay? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> um. Oh, sure. Oh, we all that concerns all of us. Amen. Okay. Amen. Don't worry. Thanks. Do I have to pay bills? Yeah, I've been paying bills since. What are you talking about? Bye. It was just like, I just like the people here, like, they just survive. Mm -hmm. They're actually 
catching a vibe. And it's like they proper like every time there's a new consultant, they're like, This is Temmy, she's going she's a doctor in training and I'm like, Oh my god. Mm-hmm. You don't need to stop saying this before they start asking me questions that I don't know the answer to. See, I saw so many different cases, I saw a tumour. Like it was so cool. You can see the difference between the colon and like the small intestine, like the large intestine, small intestine. Yeah, let me open my results. Oh, is Dio not here? We're not gonna wait. I think you should wait for Dio. I feel like it's unfair. You're not trying to wait for me, but basically, I lied. I already told them my result. So she already, she already knows. So why are you doing this then? Are you recording me then? Oh, okay, go on. Basically, I got distinction. <laughs> Congratulations. Uh, you worked so hard. You deserve it, man. Thank you. Yeah, you had not to give it to you. Just that. So grateful. Yeah, you must be. <laughs> oh, congratulations. It goes to show you can do anything if you put your mind to it. Um, I put my mind, my body, my emotions to it. My lack of sleep to it. Tears to it. I mean, you put in what you got out in it. Great. I thought my grades would reflect like how much time I spent on other things. What was your, what was your strongest area? Like, what was your best module or whatever? So, so how was your dissertation, in fact, actually? I got 74%. Yeah. Sick. What are them, Which is really good. Like, okay. there were some strong modules, some weak modules. Oh, no, you already, I already know about your exam modules because you already, we already discussed that. Yeah, but this time I got actual percentages oh, like for everything. Yeah. Well. Yeah, no, overall, it was pretty good. And what I was telling Dala, it was so mad. Like, I'm not, like, I'm good, just going to say it because I don't feel like I need to not say it, but... You know that C I got in colloid and interface science, so basically like my lowest grade? Yeah. I looked at the percentage, and obviously C is between 50 and 60%. I yeah. got 51.3%. So oh, wow. I was like 2% two cent, two away from failing that module, and 2% oh. away from my whole degree being capped at a pass. Wow. Deep it. Like, that's literally like one mark, and then my oh, whole degree... I think I should, you know, because engineering is very much. Yeah, engineering is very much like some modules you'll get 80s, 70s, and then there'll be other modules you get like 43. Like, it's just very like at, at GCSE, at A level, like your goal is to try and be like stable, like with all your subjects, try and, you know, get a yeah. stable kind of grade but at uni i just never managed that i had very strong modules i had very weak modules i had some in the middle and that module was just one of those ones that was low so i wouldn't actually message him on instagram was like so i watched your video and i saw that you know college and interface science was your weakest module like do you think it was exams do you think it was the lecture like what give me the tea kind of thing i was like very good question and it's smart that he messaged someone who did bad in it so that he yeah. can obviously do well in it yeah i was just like nah i just didn't vibe with the exam that's all it was <laughs> the lecturer wasn't wasn't explicit in the lecture notes and i just didn't vibe with the exam that that was literally it all right so there you have it got my results that's kind of mad still but to be fair though i've actually like i determined within myself that if i if i don't get a distinction basically i've determined within myself that i actually don't care which is probably why i'm not as emotional as I usually would be being as kind of like caring about my grades as I used to be but yeah grades don't define you you'll really get a distinction whether you get passed whether you get merit no one's going to ask you what you got if you guys are getting results or you're getting results in the future just remember that like it feels like everything when you're there but it won't feel like everything when you're you know beyond that point in your life and ask me how many people ask me what A-levels what A-level grades I've got what GCSE grades I've got literally no one asks in it dial yeah yeah and she's at uni so i hope you guys enjoyed the video um but yeah i just wanted to, to follow up the final sort of story with you guys like the final chapter you guys have seen me get in to imperial you guys have seen me struggle in imperial you guys have seen my exam results from imperial now you see my session results from imperial yeah if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um i'm gonna do like a debrief on like dissertation not dissertation but like for, for us it's engineering projects which is very different to a dissertation so i'll do like some top tips and things to watch out for and things like that because i've definitely learned a lot so that you guys don't make make the same mistakes i did i will see you guys in the next one bye